Dive with us into the depths of the ocean as we search for the elusive city of Atlantis. The legend of Atlantis, a tale as old as time, continues to captivate the imagination of many. This mythical civilization, often described as an advanced utopia, is said to have existed in its full glory thousands of years ago. Plato, the ancient Greek philosopher, was the first to mention Atlantis in his dialogues, Timaeus and Critias. He painted a vivid picture of a city of unprecedented grandeur, a city that was a beacon of technology, art and wisdom. Atlantis was supposedly larger than Asia and Libya combined, a hub of a thriving civilization with an intricate network of canals, grand temples and palaces of gold, silver and ivory. The Atlanteans, as Plato described, were a race of demigods, half human, half divine, living in harmony and prosperity. Their extraordinary wisdom and power were believed to be gifts bestowed upon them by the gods. But as time passed, their divine nature began to fade and they grew greedy, indulging in hedonistic pleasures. And then, as the story goes, in a single day and night, the city disappeared, swallowed by the sea as if the gods themselves had decided to wipe it off the face of the earth. Theories about Atlantis's location have varied widely, some suggest it was in the Mediterranean, others propose the Caribbean while others still theorize it may have been in the Antarctic. The disappearance of Atlantis, just as its existence is shrouded in mystery. Some scholars argue that it was a victim of a catastrophic natural disaster, like a tsunami or an earthquake, while others believe it fell to a powerful enemy. Yet others surmise that the city's moral decay led to its downfall. Despite countless expeditions, no concrete evidence of Atlantis has ever been found. The city that once glittered with gold and echoed with the wisdom of demigods if it ever truly existed, remains lost. Today, Atlantis lives on in our collective imagination, a symbol of lost glory and a reminder of the transient nature of even the greatest civilizations. Though many have sought Atlantis, its secrets remain hidden beneath the waves. Turn the pages of the Voynich Manuscript an ancient riddle bound in parchment. This intriguing enigma takes us back to the early 15th century, where it was supposedly scribed. Yet who wrote it, why and in what language, remains an elusive mystery. The manuscript is filled with cryptic symbols and illustrations ranging from bizarre flora to celestial patterns, and even strange humanoid figures. This script, unlike any other known to man, has baffled linguists and cryptographers for centuries. Many have tried to crack the code, from professional codebreakers during both world wars to modern computer algorithms, yet none have succeeded. Some argue it's a lost language, others suggest it's an elaborate hoax. Every page turned, every symbol scrutinized only deepens the intrigue. The Voynich manuscript truly is a relic of the unknown, a testament to the untold mysteries of our past. The Voynich manuscript remains an enigma, its cryptic language still unbroken. Set sail for the Roanoke colony the lost settlement that vanished from history. In the late 16th century, over 100 English settlers journeyed across the Atlantic, establishing the first English colony in the New World, on Roanoke Island. But when the colony's founder, John White, returned from a three-year-long supply trip from England, he found the settlement eerily deserted. The houses were dismantled, and there was no sign of struggle or battle. The only clue left behind was the word Croatoan, carved on a tree. This cryptic message has puzzled historians for centuries. Was it a distress signal, a clue to their whereabouts, or a mere coincidence? Theories have ranged from attacks by local tribes to integration with native communities, and even supernatural occurrences. The truth however remains shrouded in the mists of time, leaving us with only speculation. The fate of the Roanoke colonists remains one of America's oldest unsolved mysteries. Venture into the Bermuda Triangle a place where the normal rules of navigation seem to go awry. This infamous region, spanning from Miami to Bermuda to Puerto Rico, has been the stage for numerous perplexing disappearances. From the vanishing of the USS Cyclops with her 309 crew in 1918, to the infamous Flight 19's disappearance in 1945, the Bermuda Triangle has swallowed ships and planes alike without a trace. Theories about this enigmatic region range from the plausible to the paranormal. Some suggest the existence of magnetic anomalies that disrupt compasses, throwing navigators off course. Others propose methane hydrates, gas explosions on the seafloor that could theoretically sink ships. Then there are those who favor the more fantastical theories of alien abductions or the presence of an underwater city of Atlantis. Despite countless investigations, the Bermuda Triangle continues to baffle experts. Its enduring mystery remains, 
captivating our imaginations and fueling our endless quest for answers. Gaze upon the Shroud of Turin, a cloth that has stirred controversy for centuries. This enigmatic piece of linen bears the faint image of a man, a visage that has captivated the world and sparked heated debates. Its history is as shadowy as its image, some trace its existence back to Jerusalem in the first century, while others only as far as the Middle Ages in Europe. The man on the shroud appears to bear the marks of crucifixion, which has led many to believe it could be the burial cloth of Jesus Christ. Yet the nature of the image remains a puzzle. Is it a miraculous imprint, an ingenious medieval forgery, or something else entirely? Scientific examinations have yielded conflicting results, further muddying the waters of truth. Radiocarbon dating suggests it's a medieval creation yet other studies point to its possible authenticity. The debate rages on, fueled by faith, skepticism, and the quest for scientific truth. The Shroud of Turin remains a contentious relic, its mysteries still unresolved. Fly over the Nazca Desert where massive designs are etched into the earth. The Nazca Lines, a series of gigantic geoglyphs in the arid plains of Peru, are an enduring enigma. These enormous sketches, crafted between 500 BCE and 500 CE, are etched into the desert floor, creating a tapestry of art visible only from the sky. The sheer size and complexity of these geoglyphs are staggering. They stretch over nearly 400 square miles, with individual designs spanning up to 1,200 feet. The figures are not just lines but intricate renderings of various forms, animals, plants, and geometric shapes. From the soaring condor to the sprawling spider, from the delicate hummingbird to the intricate monkey, each design is unique and meticulously crafted. Theories about their creation and purpose are as varied as the designs themselves. Some suggest they served as a giant astronomical calendar, their lines and shapes corresponding to constellations and celestial events. Others propose they were part of an elaborate system for tracking water sources in the arid desert. Yet another theory posits that the lines were created as paths for religious ceremonies, where the Nazca people could walk in the footsteps of their gods. What is most astonishing is that these massive works of art were created with primitive tools, without the benefit of an aerial view. The Nazca people would have had no way to see their work in its entirety, yet they executed their designs with such precision that they have endured for over 2,000 years. Despite extensive study and numerous theories, the true purpose and origin of the Nazca lines remain a mystery. Were they a message to the gods, an ancient calendar, or a map of hidden water sources? Or perhaps something entirely different that we have yet to comprehend? The Nazca lines, silent and enigmatic, continue to puzzle those who study them. These vast desert sketches, a testament to the ingenuity and artistic vision of an ancient civilization, continue to captivate and confound us, reminding us that history is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Dig into the Oak Island Money Pit, a treasure hunt that has lasted for centuries. Nestled on a small island off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, this deep, intriguing pit was discovered in the late 18th century. Since then it has sparked the imaginations of countless treasure hunters, determined to unravel its secrets. The Money Pit is a story of intrigue, adventure, and perseverance. Over the years numerous excavations have been attempted, each one hoping to finally uncover the elusive treasure believed to be buried deep within. Yet, the pit has proven to be a formidable opponent, with its intricate booby traps and complex construction. Theories about what lies within the pit abound, ranging from pirate treasure to religious artifacts, and even the lost works of Shakespeare. Each theory adds another layer to the mystery, fueling the ongoing quest to unlock the secrets of the money pit. The money pit, an enduring challenge to treasure hunters, guards its secrets well. Step back in time to the Dancing Plague of 1518, a bizarre event that defies explanation. In the heart of Strasbourg, a woman named Frau Trophea started dancing. A seemingly harmless act, until it wasn't. She danced non-stop day and night for nearly a week. Incredibly, her solitary jig turned contagious. By the end of the month, around 400 people had joined this frenzied dance marathon, their bodies writhing and twisting in the streets, seemingly unable to stop. The city was in chaos, the unstoppable dance claimed lives through exhaustion and heart attacks. Many theories have been proposed over the centuries, some say it was a case of mass hysteria, others point to ergot poisoning, a hallucinogenic mold that grows on damp rye, but none of these theories fully explain why the people danced until they dropped. The dancing plague remains a strange footnote in history its cause still unknown. 
Discover the Antikythera Mechanism, an ancient device that astounds modern scientists. This incredible artifact, often referred to as the world's first computer, was discovered over a century ago in the most unlikely of places, the ruins of a shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island, Antikythera. The Antikythera Mechanism, a complex system of bronze gears and dials, was found in the early 20th century by sponge divers. The device was so technologically advanced that, at first it was believed to be a far more recent object that had somehow found its way into an ancient wreck. But upon closer inspection and through modern dating methods, it was confirmed to be over 2,000 years old, hailing from the Hellenistic period. The complexity of the Antikythera mechanism is truly mind-boggling. It consists of dozens of intricately interlocked gears that could predict lunar and solar eclipses, track the paths of the planets in our solar system, and even account for the irregular orbit of the moon. This level of sophistication wouldn't be seen in mechanical devices again for more than a thousand years, making the Antikythera mechanism a singularly unique piece of ancient technology. But who created this extraordinary device? Theories abound. Some suggest it was the work of the ancient Greek mathematician and engineer Archimedes. Others propose that the device was created in the schools of Alexandria, where some of the brightest minds of the ancient world studied. Despite our best efforts to understand the Antikythera mechanism, much about it remains shrouded in mystery. We don't know for sure who made it, how it was used, or why there's no record of anything else like it from this era. Its unique place in the history of technology continues to puzzle and intrigue us. It's a testament to the ingenuity of the ancients. A piece of history that reminds us we've always been innovators, always reaching for the stars. The Antikythera mechanism, a marvel of the ancient world, continues to inspire awe and curiosity. And as we continue to explore the mysteries of our past, who knows what other remarkable discoveries await us in the depths of time. Join the search for Flight MH370, a modern mystery that has captivated the world. On the 8th of March 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370, carrying 239 souls, took off from Kuala Lumpur, destined for Beijing. Yet, it never reached its destination. Less than an hour into the flight, the aircraft vanished from radar screens, leaving no trace behind. A multinational search effort, one of the most extensive in aviation history, was launched. Covering vast swaths of the Indian Ocean, Teams of experts deployed cutting-edge technology in a desperate bid to locate the missing airliner. Yet, despite their best efforts, they were met with silence. The plane had seemingly disappeared into thin air. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the world watched in anticipation, hoping for a breakthrough. But none came. The disappearance of Flight MH370 became one of the greatest aviation mysteries of our time, in the absence of concrete evidence, a multitude of theories emerged each attempting to explain the unexplainable. Some suggested a catastrophic mechanical failure, others speculated a hijacking or pilot suicide. There were those who pointed to alien abduction or even a black hole. Yet, without the plane's wreckage, none could be confirmed. Several pieces of debris believed to be from the aircraft washed ashore on distant beaches, providing a glimmer of hope. But they brought more questions than answers. Where had the plane gone down, why had it veered off course, and most importantly, what had happened to those on board? Years have passed since the fateful flight, but the disappearance of MH370 continues to baffle experts. Its enigma has spurred countless investigations, inspired numerous documentaries, and fueled endless debates. Yet the truth remains elusive. The story of flight MH370 is a chilling testament to our world's unsolved mysteries. It's a reminder that despite our technological advancements, there are still corners of our planet that hold secrets, secrets that refuse to be revealed. The disappearance of Flight MH370 remains an unsolved mystery, a haunting reminder of our world's enduring enigmas. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history's greatest mysteries. We're grateful for your time and curiosity to delve into the unknown with us. If you've enjoyed this journey, please don't forget to hit the like button, Leave your comments below and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. Share this video with friends and family who love mysteries just as much as you do. This world is full of enigmas, waiting to be explored. Until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of our world.